We currently do not have the economic or social structural capacity to take care of our seniors, and we will increasingly not have that yep. if we, quote unquote, lock up our border. We were also told by Mr. Ray, the FBI director, that there are more red flags going off now than before 9-11, okay? When I say red flags, meaning people that are here in this country that are wanting to do harm to us. Welcome back, everybody. Simple Sound here. Um, so the dark princess of moronic platitudes, um, AOC, went on MSNBC's uh, Chris Hayes last night, um, chastising everybody about not uh, wanting or expecting a open border, um, don't, you know, how terrible it would be, how terrible our economic system would be. Um, and we're going to take a listen to that and uh, bring you back right after. We currently do not have the economic or social structural capacity to take care of our seniors. And we will increasingly not have that yep. if we, quote unquote, lock up our border and shut down, shut down immigration. In fact, the thing that has distinguished U.S. economic performance from other countries like Japan or other, uh, you know, or other de developed economies is the fact that our pro immigration policies actually allow us to continue in our economic growth, whereas similar countries with anti or more kind of closed border policies experience economic stagnation when they submit themselves to this xenophobic kind of border panic yeah. narrative that Fox News, frankly, seeks to peddle and instill in so many people. So you heard Ms. Ocasio-Cortez herself um, telling you that you're a terrible person for not wanting... A open border that allows a million and one people in every month. Because that's what we're facing. Just did a video on it. But she's chastising you and telling you you're a bad person. And, and that you don't make economic sense. Um, but you think about it. Instead of letting all these people in, why don't you promote the idea of a nuclear family again? Why don't you promote the idea of you know, replacing our own population of American citizens? Instead of, instead of promoting the idea of abortion. Or promoting the idea of of mass migration to people who have no loyalty to us at all at, at all zero and the lie that that you know you have a stagnant economic situation when you have a more stricter immigration policy is not true um our next clip is from dominic tarzazinski i know i'm probably saying is butchering his name uh, but he's one of the ministers of poland i know you've probably seen this video once before um, but we'll just check it out again. He 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 puts European the European Union in its place with just facts, with their own data. And we're going to check that out now. Polish nation rejected you, dear leftists, eight times. Eight times in a row you have lost elections in Poland. So get used to it because you're going to lose again. That's number one. Let me give you some data about Poland and Polish democracy. The lowest unemployment in European Union is Poland. The highest GDP after COVID in European Union is Poland. One of the lowest debts in European Union is Poland. So don't give us this rubbish about the need of educated immigration, as we heard yesterday. We don't need your doctors. We don't need your engineers. Take them, take them all, and pay for them. We don't need them. You know why? Because there is a zero terrorist attacks in Poland. Why? Because, because there is no illegal migration in Poland. So don't give me this look. Don't give me these arguments about the populism. Because this is a fact. This is your data from Eurostat. Um, he brings up a lot of good points, right? The security, uh, the economics, all that is... is basically a fraudulent lie that we're told hey you got to have open borders for your economics you got to have it for your own survival for your own replacement we need the doctors we need these trained people instead of training our own people instead of building the culture here to something that we can sustain sustain ourselves um now we're we're dependent on others to to 
take care of our aging population? Are we incapable of humans as Americans to take care of our own population? Is that what's going on here? Because if that's the truth, uh, we have more problems than just replacing our population. Uh, we have a, a brain deficiency at that point. Honestly, it's the security risk that we're facing right now. Uh, I think some people in our government want to ring the bell. They want to be whistleblowers, but they're kind of scared because they know, you know, to be honest with you, Joe Biden's regime is is terrifying. You think, I mean, they, they lie and they, the obvious situation of like him being brain dead, right? So they, they'll go to any links at, at any point in time to cover up anything. I mean, you think Donald Trump was bad. Joe Biden's regime was uh, 10 times worse, uh, especially for information uh, suppression. I mean, they'll suppress the information right in front of your face. I, I, I mean, not too long ago, Joe Biden was speaking to a uh, former president, Menadred from France, who died in 1996. Um, so we're on the verge of uh, a true brain deficiency, I think, problem in our country. But the sheriff from Ohio, uh, he tried to get in touch with the president, including 3,300 other sheriffs. And um, he got to speak with Director Ray of the FBI. Let's hear what he has to say, because it, 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 it might scare the hell out of you. So let's take a look at that. My name is Rick Jones. I'm the Butler County Sheriff, Butler County, Ohio. Um, I just came back from a national sheriff's training in uh, D.C. Uh, three days ago, two days ago. We were briefed by the FBI director, Ray, the director of the FBI, and several federal agencies. There's 3,300 sheriffs in the United States. The President of the United States refuses to meet with the sheriffs of the 3,300. We have a hierarchy. We have a president. We have a vice president. The President of the United States refuses to meet with the sheriffs. He also refuses to meet with the police chiefs of the United States. They have a hierarchy also. He refuses to meet with them to talk about border issues or talk about crime that's going on because of the border issue. We were also told by Mr. Ray, the FBI director, that there are more red flags going off now than before 9-11, okay? When I say red flags, meaning people that are here in this country that are wanting to do harm to us. We were also explained we're, in the, we're bombing two countries right now. Two countries. These people do not like us before this started. There's thousands of people here from other countries, 160 different countries. They're here not to be our friends. Some of them are coming because they're wanting to come here to the best country in the world, the way we see it. Some are coming here to do harm to us. And we were told by the FBI director, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And see, we're supposed to sit back and we're not supposed to say anything. Um, you say anything, you're a racist. Even though our own director of the FBI is saying there's more red flags now than there was back in 9-11. Um, you should be petrified. If you live in a major metropolitan area, hell, if you live in a suburb, you have to worry. Because there's tens of millions of people coming through every year. We have no idea who they are. We don't know where they're from. We don't know what their intentions are. They're basic just, uh, you know, want a, a better economic life is bad enough, let alone to actually mean us harm. We can't even control the, the basic regular migration, immigration, you know, the illegal immigration. We can't handle it. Now we have to worry about the dangerous immigration, the actual invasion and want to harm us. We, we have lost control. How many millions of people are here that secretly mean us harm? Hurtful intent. Um, so are we going to wake up? Probably not. Um, are we going to be attacked? Sure. Most likely. It's just a matter of when. As uh, this sheriff uh, told us about uh, Director Ray. And what do you think is going to happen? It's either something's going to be overthrown or we're going to go to war. So maybe that's what they're hoping for. Maybe they're just hoping for another military complex war 
and um, thrust us all in there and draft everybody. Maybe even draft some women this time. You know, equality. You know, throw our throw our young women who give birth out in the front lines. You know what I mean? Put a give them a gun and there you go. Go shoot the enemy. There's equality for you. Um, that's what we're facing off right right now. We're facing off against it. I think there's a gigantic question of the soul happening right now. Where we're going to fall on it, how we're going to answer it, any, it's anybody's guess. I have no idea. Hopefully, people see this, see, you know, their own research, and um, they they start questioning people in charge, maybe make some better decisions in 2024 about who should be leading this country. Um, I know who I want to lead this country um it's not the person who's in charge right now so um hopefully you make good decisions and um i'll see you guys in the next one hit like subscribe share and uh peace